I wish somebody would someday write my biography, bitch. Are you kidding me? Hello again, everybody. I honestly, I fucking hate intros. <laughs> Uh, what's up everybody? Yes, I am doing two videos this week. I know, I know, settle down, you don't have to clap for me. I'm just a, a woman for the people. I'm just trying to keep the streak going. So, um, earlier this morning, I watched part four of Shane Dawson's Jake Paul series and I'm gonna get my cat really quick. Oh my God. Oh my god. Are you a woman for the people too? So yeah, I just got done watching part four of Shane Dawson's little Jake Paul documentary series and uh, so far I think it's pretty good. Um, I've been watching Shane since, honestly, since I was probably in middle school. I've been watching him for a minute and I really do love his videos. I feel like he's super genuine and he is a total empath so he feels so much for other people and he's kind of like a fixer-upper, kind of like how I am sometimes, well most of the time. I don't fucking know. After watching all the videos that he has posted so far, all this talk about being a sociopath and what that means and you know, just figuring out if Jake is a sociopath and you know, kind of getting to the root of like what makes you a sociopath. And although I am nauseous by how much uh, this has been talked about over the last week or however many days this uh, docu-series has been going for. Uh, I'm still curious. Obviously mental health is very serious and something that I always think about is how mental illness is very romanticized and you know a lot of mental illness is kind of thought of as being very exotic like schizophrenia and being a sociopath and you know being a, a narcissist and all of that just because it's so um, exploited in you know movies and TV shows and obviously things like having OCD having anxiety having depression um, is very stereotyped and you know you see it on t-shirts you see it on mugs you know a lot of people a lot of brands like to you know make a quick buck off of you know some really shitty humor revolving around mental illness and whatnot on the topic of what today's video is about I wanted to take a socio path test and possibly a narcissist test I'm fucking curious okay I kind of I want to take them I want to see like what kind of questions they ask you so that you can get to know me better and I can get to know myself better in the process so let's just get started hey, are you a narcissist are you a sociopath oh my god I wonder if there's like a I'm not even gonna make that joke. <laughs> and if you're wondering if the title is clickbait, bitch, of course Shane Dawson made me take this test. He put a knife up to my neck. We all know that he's the true sociopath here. I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to take a thumbnail. All right, got my laptop here. This actually isn't the first time I've taken a test. I remember taking an OCD test. And on this test that I took, it said that if you scored like a, a 10 or above, that you are highly likely of having OCD. And I scored a 14. And I was kind of freaking out because even though it's not like a diagnostic test and it's not supposed to like make you just be like, oh, like I have OCD or like, you know, oh, I'm a sociopath. It's just like a little tool, but still I was like fucking freaking out. Like the test, it was so funny. It was like, this is not a diagnostic tool and it's not to, it's not meant to diagnose you as having obsessive compulsive disorder. However, I would take these results to your therapist and I was like, oh fuck. So I literally like sent a copy to my email and I was like, should I take this to my therapist? <laughs> um, I just typed up sociopath test. Sociopath test. First thing that comes up. Am I a sociopath from healthy place? Let's do it. The first one says, are you superficially charming and intelligent? Uh, definitely not. Uh, I honestly, I hate one of the things that you will get to know about me very quickly if I choose to keep this video streak up is that is meeting someone through the internet or social media or through you know I was about to say Netflix what 
One of my biggest pet peeves is meeting someone through social media and not meeting them in person first and then meeting them in person eventually and then feeling that anxiety that they, whoever I'm about to meet thinks that I'm something that I'm not. And of course, it's, it's not like I try to make my social media or make my personality different on Instagram or on Facebook different than who I am in real life. And to some degree, that's kind of inevitable. Like you're not gonna post you, you know, sitting on the toilet and, you know, just doing random shit that no one cares about. The answer to that question, are you superficially charming and intelligent? No. Number two, do you have delusions or other signs of irrational thinking? Um, hmm. If we're gonna be completely honest, I mean, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know, are you taking the test with me? It's, I guess like the one thing that makes me want to click yes on this answer is the fact that when I'm around like big groups of people, uh, sometimes when it comes to irrational thinking, I feel like when I talk to people that I don't know in like big social settings with like a lot of people around, or if it's at like a, I don't know, like an, at an event or at a party, sometimes I feel like my energy, if I'm like all over the place and I'm feeling really nervous, I feel like the other person can see right through me and my energy is making them uncomfortable. So, but as I say that, I feel like that is not means to click yes because I feel like that has more to do with like anxiety and like social anxiety and just, you know, in that category. This I feel like is, um, like this question number two is basically like saying to me it sounds like when they're saying delusions or other signs of irrational thinking I feel like that's kind of like saying do you think that the government is after you or you know do you feel like people are watching you and the answer to that question for me personally is no so I'm gonna click no number three I feel personally attacked okay number three are you overly nervous or anxious uh, as of right now in my life, yes. So I'm about to smash that yes button. Number four, are you generally reliable? Um, short story, when I was in high school, I was everybody's designated driver. I feel like I'm pretty reliable. Do you regularly tell lies or say insincere things? No! And that wasn't lying. Do you feel remorse or shame? Yeah. Absolutely. Is your behavior antisocial for no good reason? Sometimes I can withdraw and sometimes I can alienate myself, um, but that's for a reason and the reason is me being depressed. I'm gonna say no. Number eight, do you have poor judgment and look, my eyes twitching. Do you have poor judgment and fail to learn from experience? I feel like I actually have very good judgment. <laughs> That's just a part of like getting older. So uh, no, I feel like I do not have poor judgment. Are you pathologically egocentric and incapable of love? Absolutely not, definitely not. Number 10, do you experience emotions like most other people do? Yes. Now that I'm 10 questions in, I feel like most of these questions are for people that are like completely like unaware of themselves. And I feel like these questions are for people that literally like have no idea and like know less about themselves than like someone like me who's like so self-aware that it's like borderline crippling. Moving on, do you lack insight? No. Number 12, and I'm just gonna like speed through these because I wanna take another test. So let's just like blow through these real fast. Do you often have to fake your actions and responses to others? No, no. Does your parting behavior get out of hand? Um, when I was a lot younger, when I was like 14, I was like at the peak of like my partying. So <laughs> I started a lot younger than most people, but I did get it out of my system way faster than all of my other classmates and you know people around me. Like when I was 21, I literally didn't even drink. I ordered a drink and I, I took like three sips of it and I was like, I'm over this. And there's so many people that are my age that are like just now experimenting with things for the first time and I'm like, 
can't relate. 14, do you make false suicide threats? No. 15, is your sex life impersonal, trivial, or po poorly integrated? No. Have you failed to follow a life plan? Okay, submit. Oh my god, do we need a drum roll? What's it gonna be, guys? <laughs> I scored a 6 out of 25. Um, there are a total of 25 points. If you scored a 16 or higher, you may exhibit strong sociopathic tendencies. 8 to 15, you may have moderate to minor sociopathic tendencies. 7 and under, you may have no sociopathic tendencies. So I scored a 6, so I'm in the clear. And of course it says please keep in mind that there is no foolproof way of diagnosing yourself as a sociopath. If you have concerns, please seek professional help as this sociopath test is not a diagnostic tool. Oh, okay, so this is cool. To add some context to your score, if you answered yes to questions 1, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 14, or 15, and no to the rest, you may exhibit the symptoms of a sociopath. Sociopaths are antisocial and lacking empathy, uh, conniving, manipulative, deceitful, and dishonest, control freaks, charming and smooth, and use social skills to get their way, and they're rule breakers and risk takers and commonly have repeated clashes with the law and, and thus a criminal record. Okay, let's, let's take a, a narcissist test. All right, just typed it in. Uh, do you know a narcissist? Take a quiz and find out. Well, I, I want to know if I'm a narcissist. Narcissistic personality inventory. Introduction. Narcissism in personality trait generally conceived as excessive self-love. In Greek mythology, Narcissus, Narcissus was a man who fell in love with his reflection in a pool of water. Okay, so there's definitely a lot more questions, so I'm just gonna like try and get through this as quickly as possible. I feel like deep down inside, like you know the real answer, and maybe you're not willing to like admit it yet, but I feel like I'm gonna just like blow through these. Okay, so for each pair of items, choose the one that you most identify with. If you identify with both equally, choose the one that you think is most important. I have a natural talent for influencing people. I am not good at influencing people. Uh, I feel like I have a natural talent for influencing people because one of my gifts in life, if I do say so myself, is being able to connect with people. Where I thrive is connecting with people, like genuinely connecting. And so yes, I have a natural talent for influencing people. Not in like a bad way though, uh, I, I do have to clarify. Like I'm not gonna just sit here and like, be like, yeah, I'm good at influencing people because I think I'm like an influencer selling like skinny tea talks and shit. Like that's not what we're talking about here. Modesty doesn't become me. I am essentially a modest person. I guess it doesn't become me. I would do almost anything on a dare. Uh, definitely not. When people compliment me, I sometimes get embarrassed. Yes, absolutely. I can't take a compliment to save my life. I don't even acknowledge the compliment. I just changed the subject because I'm like, uh, uh. The thought of ruling the world frightens the hell out of me. If I ruled the world, it would be a better place. Oh my god! I can usually talk my way out of anything. I try to accept the consequences of my behavior. Mmm, I usually, ah. Uh, I feel like as of late in the last year, um, as this year comes to a close, uh, I feel like I've been able to get better at um, accepting my uh, negative behavior. I prefer to blend in with the crowd. I like to be the center of attention. Uh, definitely now that I'm older, I do not like being the center of attention. I feel like it literally is like pouring gasoline on a fire in terms of like my anxiety. It just makes it so much worse. And it's like, I don't like knowing that people are looking at me and like looking at my outfit or like looking at my face. Cause I'm like, oh fuck. Like, like what are they looking at? Like what do I do with my hands? I am not too concerned about success. Mm, I feel like I'm about to like manifest this shit because I'm gonna click on I will be a success bitch. I am no better or worse than most people. I am not a special snowflake. It's, that's just a, like of course. Like I, I'm not, I'm literally not better than you and I'm not better than anyone else. And you know, I have no problem, you know, saying that outright. I'm not sure if I would make a good leader. I see myself as a good leader. Even though my social anxiety 
kind of like inhibits me from thinking and believing that I would be a good leader. I feel like if I had to be a leader or you know if I did become a leader I would be a good leader because I feel like I am responsible and like make good choices and decisions for the most part. I genuinely want people to succeed and I, I want to see other people happy and I want to make people happy. So I, I feel like I would be a good leader. Um, I'm assertive. I wish I was more assertive. I definitely wish I was more assertive. I like to have authority over people. Oh my God, no. I find it easy to manipulate people. I, I don't like it when I find myself manipulating people. Absolutely. I insist upon getting the respect that is due to me. I usually get the respect that I deserve. Um. I feel like I'm gonna go with I usually get the respect that I deserve. Mm, actually, I'm gonna change that. I don't particularly like to show off my body. Yes, that is true. Most times, even when I wear a swimsuit, it's a one piece. And I don't like wearing shorts. And when it's when I wear dresses, I usually like wearing dresses with sleeves and like really, really long dresses. Like the thought of having like tight clothes. I mean, <laughs> literally wearing crew necks in every YouTube video, I feel like that's about to be my brand. And it's funny, because I model, and you would think that would be the opposite, but you know, whatever. I can read people like a book. People are sometimes hard to understand. I can absolutely read people like a book. I am very receptive to people's energy. I feel competent when I'm willing to take responsibility for making decisions. I like to take responsibility for making decisions. I feel like I like to take responsibility for making decisions. I just want to be reasonably happy. I want to amount to something in the eyes of the world. Absolutely. Something that has always been like a huge part of me, like deep down inside is like leaving a footprint on this planet when I leave and making like a, a lasting change. Although I haven't figured that out, that is something that I beat myself up for on a daily basis. I feel like just because I don't know what my life purpose is right now and I'm not fulfilling that right this second, I'm like the fucking worst. That's a huge thing that I struggle with. My body is nothing special. I like to look at my body. I mean, I do honestly, like I walk around the house without my shirt on like constantly. If it was socially acceptable to go out of the house without wearing a top or a bra, I would definitely do it. I try not to be a show off. I will usually show off if I get the chance. Oh my God, no, because that means that people are looking at me. I always know what I'm doing. Sometimes I am not sure of what I'm doing. Absolutely, bitch. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Does anybody? Sometimes I tell good stories. Everyone likes to hear my stories. <laughs> the way that that question was positioned Everybody likes to hear my stories. I don't know if people give a fuck about my stories. So I'm just gonna say sometimes I tell good stories. I feel like that was a trick question. I feel like that was meant to catch you in like a, that was fucking narcissistic moment. I expect a great deal from other people. I like to do things for other people. Now, I'm definitely gonna sound like, oh, like I'm so, I'm such an angel. I do good things for people, but I don't really expect things from other people because when you set your expectations, even if they're just like normal, most of the time you're going to get let down because the expectations that you have for other people, a lot of times those expectations will not be met. I will never be satisfied until I get all that I deserve. I take my satisfactions as they come. I mean, it's 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 not it's not a bad thing to feel like you deserve to have certain things. It, the, obviously there's a difference between going out and like getting what you think you deserve and being entitled. Compliments embarrass me, I like to be complimented. Compliments definitely embarrass the fuck out of me. I have a strong will to power. Power for its own sake doesn't interest me. Yeah, definitely. I don't care about new fads and fashions. I like to start new fads and fashions. I don't like to start new trends and fashions, but I also don't care about new trends and fashions. So I'm just gonna click the first one. I like to look at myself in the mirror. I'm not particularly interested in looking at myself in the mirror. You know what's funny? When I am just going through my normal life, I don't really look in the mirror and I don't really give a fuck about what I look like. And when I look at my body just on a normal day, I'm not thinking, about anything and I've always been like that. <laughs> I feel like when I was younger I just looked in the mirror and I was like 
but when it comes to modeling i know this sounds like kind of fucked up but like in terms of modeling like when i'm getting ready for a casting or when i have to take digitals or you know the day or like the morning of a job when i look in the mirror it's like i can pick out so many flaws and imperfections and asymmetry that really only happens when it revolves around my job but i know when i'm out of this industry i won't give a fuck about that like at all i guess as of right now i like to look at myself in the mirror i really like to be the center of attention it makes me uncomfortable to be the center of attention we have already addressed this i can live my life in any way i want to people can't always live their lives in terms of what they want uh, that seems fair. I, do, do I sound fucked up? Being an authority doesn't mean that much to me. People always seem to recognize my authority. Being an authority does not mean that much to me. I prefer to be a leader. It makes little difference to me whether I'm a leader or not. I guess it, it doesn't really make a difference for me. I'm going to be a great person. I hope I am going to be successful. I definitely hope I'm going to be successful, you guys. <laughs> The, the definition of success to get the answer to that question it really will change based on who you're asking people sometimes believe what i tell them i can make anyone believe anything i want them to oh my god that sounds like a crazy person <laughs> i am a born leader leadership is a quality that takes a long time to develop of course i wish somebody would someday write my biography bitch are you kidding me I don't like people to pry into my life for any reason. Honestly, the even the second question is kind of dramatic, but I would much rather choose that than wishing someone would write my fucking biography. Like, bitch, please. I get upset when people don't notice how I look when I go out in public. I don't mind blending into the crowd when I go out in public yet. Yeah definitely i mean obviously like when i get dressed up and when i put on makeup and you know when i choose to go out on just on such a rare occasion because usually i'm i'm at home reading the bible at 7 p.m who is this i'm more capable than other people there's a lot that i can learn from other people absolutely there is so much you can learn from other people i am much like everybody else i am an extraordinary person I am extraordinary, bitch. You have completed the personality test. These are the results on the narcissistic personality inventory. Your score is 10 out of 40. Higher scores indicate greater levels of narcissism. Most people are scoring anywhere between 15 and 17. So I guess that's a good thing. So we did it. We did it, everybody. I mean, I don't know. These tests obviously are just meant to be a tool. They're not meant to diagnose you in any shape or form. Obviously I was curious and even though I, I didn't think that you know, I would find out I would be a narcissist or I would have, you know, sociopathic tendencies or, you know, that I would actually be a sociopath. It was interesting to read all of those questions. So my cat is screaming at me, so I'm about to open the door again. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you want. You definitely don't have to. Also, if you have watched any of the Shane Dawson docuseries about Jake Paul, uh, let me know what you think about all of it. Do you think Jake Paul is a sociopath? Do you think Logan Paul is a sociopath? Do you think Shane is a sociopath? Uh, let me know. And until next time, I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.